welcome back to the course guys so we're going to look at how we can resolve merge conflicts in visual studio code so um, let's get into visual studio code so remember where we are we are in the master branch and in the previous lecture we merged the work of the front end branch with that of the master so now let's quickly add some more changes so i'll go to line 10 and i would say i'll add a paragraph tag and i would say this is a source of conflict and i'll save and remember when we save we need to commit our changes so first off i'll click on the plus icon to state the change and i'll add a commit so i'll say master conflict very interesting name for a commit but it's just for the purpose of tutorial okay so I'll say master conflict and next what I'll do is I'll go to the front end branch So I'll check out to the front end and I'll come to line 10 and I would add a paragraph and say this is an innocent change and I would save and of course we'll go through the motions first off we stage our change and then we say new brand a uh, new commit by front end and then let's save this commit okay so i'll go back to my master branch so check out the master branch and then let's try to merge these changes okay so what i'll do is i will do control shift and p to open my command palette and of, as you can see, I already have git branch merge here because I recently used it. So I'll click on it and I will say I want to merge the work of the front end. Okay. I'll click on merge. And as you can see, there's a notification that there is a merge conflict and that I need to resolve that conflict before I can commit my changes. Now, in the previous um, videos, we saw how we can resolve merge conflict by just simply deleting what we don't want okay so but i'm going to show you how you can handle merge conflict in visual studio code very interesting so we have four options here the first is accept current change okay accept current change simply means that the change that was made by the master branch or the change that, that was made by the branch that is originating that is carrying out the merge would stay and the new change will go okay so this is the change that we are expecting from the front end branch and let's not forget that the reason why we have a merge conflict is because we added changes to the same line in our code okay or in our file so essentially if i say accept current change this change by the master stays so this is a source of conflict so if i say accept current change you see that it retains this is a source of conflict what i'll do is i'll press ctrl z so ctrl and z okay so we can see other options and the second option is accept incoming change so if i do that this is the incoming change and this is an innocent change is what will stay so i'll say accept incoming change and as you can see this is what stays this is an innocent change i'll press ctrl z one more time so we can see other options and then if I say accept both changes, essentially it will save the changes of both of them. Okay, so if I click on it, you see that it has three lines now. This is a source of conflict by the master and this is an in innocent change by the front end branch. I will do control Z one more time and I would say compare changes. Essentially, if I click on compare changes, it would open up two editors here side by side and we can then see we can then compare the changes okay so we see that um this is red okay which shows that this is the changes that will be deleted if we accept these changes and this is in green okay so in other words if we accept these changes it will replace this one here and then it even goes further to show us the difference between both changes okay and essentially it's source of conflict and this last part of the sentence here so um, essentially that's how we can compare 
both changes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this okay so those are the various options that we have when we are making um, when we are resolving conflicts using visual studio code so it's a lot more easier to resolve conflict simply by just you know selecting the options here so um, what am i going to do here i'm going to say accept both changes and that's it okay so um, of course i'll just do control save and do i need to make a commit so yes i need to make a commit so because i i i accepted changes i resolved the conflict and after resolving the conflict you then make a commit so first off let's stage and then let's make a commit so merge branch front end into master blah 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 so if you want to use this um as your commit message you can use it or you can change it and then click on commit all right so i have effectively resolved the conflict between the front end and the master branch and i've made a commit so that's how you resolve conflict in visual studio code and git thank you so much for watching this lecture see you in the next one